Then we see John 10, 28. I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. He says, look, you're in Jesus Christ's hand, and you're in the Father's hand, and nobody's going to pluck you out of that hand. Now flip over to chapter 11. One time I had somebody say this to me. I was out soul winning and I was, you know, preaching eternal, eternal life to someone. And they said this. They said, well, this is what it's like. You know, you're holding his hand and he's holding your hand. And, and he's never going to let go of you, but you can let go of him, is what they, is what they taught. Okay. So c come on up here for a second, John. Let's see if this holds. Come here, John. <laughs> let's see if this holds water, okay? So, so let's use this illustration that I was given by somebody who believed you can lose your salvation. Okay, so let, let's go here. So I'm holding this hand, right? And, and I'm never going to let go of his hand, but he can let go of mine, right? Okay, go ahead and let go of my hand, John. Go ahead and let go, son. Let go. Go back to your seat, son. Let go. No, remember, you can let go. I'm not going to let go. But he can let go. He can let go anytime he wants to, right? Right? All right, go sit down. So, so, so you get the point, right? If I don't let go, it doesn't matter if he lets go. He can hold on as tight as he wants. He can let go. He can try to pull it out. But guess what? I'm stronger than him. And that's why he could not go. And the Bible says here, My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all. God is stronger than you. So if you were to have this hypothetical tug of war with God, like, let me go, let me go. He's not going to let go. Because he said no one can pluck you out of his hand because his hand is so strong, you can't get out. Go, if you would, to John 11 there, verse 25. It says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Now, this is a powerful verse for those who try to twist the definition of eternal life. Some people will say, well... Eternal life is, it, it doesn't mean it goes on forever. It's just talking about the quality of your life. You know, eternal life is a type of life. It's a style of life. It's a, you know, it's a quality of life. Okay, what about never die? Because eternal life is equated with never dying. Which proves, because people will try to say, well, if you go back into the Greek and you look at the word uh, eternal, it's aeonion. You know, like, like, Eon, because you know people will say something happened eons ago, or eons, and, and they say eon just means a really long time. So that's what Jesus was going around preaching. You're going to live for a really long time. <laughs> If you believe on me, you're going to live for a long time. But what about people who, who would lose it then, according to these people, they could lose it a week later, two weeks later, six months later. I mean, how long, is that an eon? Now, does anybody know how long is an eon? I think it's a thousand years. I don't even, I don't even know, I don't think anybody, Solomon, okay, you're, that's way too much information, <laughs> four eons equals 13 billion years, I don't, whatever, okay, that, that was over my head, these homeschooled kids, I tell you, but what, I, what I'm saying is that's, that doesn't make any sense, but, but this whole thing of going to a foreign language, Well, nobody can really, I mean, how do you dispute that unless you knew Greek? And, and how many people here are fluent in Greek, you know? So, so basically, people throw that at you. Well, if you go back to the Greek, you know, it's aeonion, and that's like an eon, and that's a blah, blah, blah. But you don't know whether that's really true. You know what I think that Greek word means? Eternal. And you know I can prove that's what it means? Because Jesus compared it to never die. So if he puts on this side, live forever, everlasting life, eternal life, and then over here he said never die, I think you get the picture. Those are both the same thing. Shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Makes perfect sense. So here he says, whosoever liveth and believeth in me. So if you're here and you live and you believe, you will never die. That's what the Bible teaches.